to do what he did to her and then leave with her head, that does show someone who's got signs of being unstable. And the search continues in the North Bay for a man who Santa Rosa police say killed his own family member, allegedly beheading her. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. The search for that homicide suspect is now in its second day. Hello again. I'm Greg Lee. And I'm Christina Rendon. So far, no arrests, no leads have been reported either. KTV Story Gaines visited the neighborhood where the killing took place and reports on the latest in the investigation. A violent homicide suspect is on the run tonight. Police were called to Pomo Trail in Santa Rosa Thursday afternoon to do a welfare check on a woman in her 60s. A friend had entered the victim's home to check on her and found a grisly scene. When she got into the house, she found her friend um, lying on the ground and was decapitated. But we did also notice that there was no head any longer on scene as well. Detectives suspect 24-year-old Luis Gustavo Arroyo Lopez killed the woman, who is his blood relative, before leaving the scene. Police want to ensure the community knows what this man looks like and that he is considered armed and dangerous. Take a look at your screen. He's five foot six, about 150 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, Hispanic male. But one of the biggest features about him is he's got a shorter cut hair. On the left side, he's got 420 and a marijuana leaf tattooed. So he is fairly, fairly easy to identify. When KTVU crews arrived at Pomo Trail this afternoon, medical waste cleaners were still outside the home cleaning up. Neighbors described the crime on their street as out of the norm. I was actually really shocked. Um, this, this is actually a pretty good, pretty chill neighborhood. I think it's kind of scary. Neighbors who have lived in this area for 13 years say they've never even heard yelling on their street. Many people in the area were so frightened by the details of the violent crime that they were afraid to speak on camera. Arroyo Lopez is also not a stranger to police. He was recently released from state prison on post-release community supervision. Police say he traveled from Bakersfield to Santa Rosa to commit the crime. He does have a violent history as well, so what we're telling people is Call us if you see him, be vigilant, but we do believe this was a targeted attack. SRPD did tell us that there was a weapon recovered at the scene inside of the residence. They declined to share further details about the weapon until that suspect is in custody. In Santa Rosa, Tori Gaines, KTVU, Fox 2 News.